I want to win souls to Jesus. I want folks to, to go to heaven with me. When you die. Oh, it's glorious. It's glorious. And, and one of the most precious things about all of this is from Isaiah chapter 55 and verse number 1, we find out that it will cost you absolutely nothing. Now, I could see if you had to shell out a lot of money why you might be hesitant this morning to do it. But my friend, it cost you nothing. That's why they call it a gift. Gift. We never have to pay for a gift for ourselves. Isaiah said, he who has no money said, come, sit by and eat. John said to the woman that was there at the well, Jesus spoke to her and said, if you knew the gift of God, said if you knew who it was that's asking you this, and if you knew the gift of God said you'd ask of me, if, if, if you knew this morning how sweet it can be to be saved, then you would ask. And as the Lord said, you'd receive if you'd only ask. If you just knew how sweet it is. Being able to lay down at night, and not worry about whether you wake up or not. I can remember as a small fella, and mother and daddy owned that little grocery store up there in the Painter community. The Lord had been dealing with my heart, and there was a couple of times there at Concord, the Holy Spirit had just arrested my soul, and I was so shy and timid, I just, I couldn't go, and I, I didn't know that I could have given my heart to the Lord right there where I was at, but but I remember laying in that bed so many times and counting my breaths as they'd come in. And I just, I just almost forget how to breathe. And it was just fear that overtook me because I knew that if I died in that condition where I'd go because the Holy Spirit had already pointed it out to me and said, you're headed toward hell, son. If you don't get saved, you're going to wind up in hell. It's a free gift. The Bible said in the book of Ephesians chapter 2, and verse number 8. Come get us a song. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse number 8. The Bible said, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. He said it's a gift. Let's stand quietly, quietly. With every head bowed and every eye closed in this sanctuary this morning, and there's no one, there's not a soul that's looking on this morning. But if you're here and you've never been saved, you've heard salvation's plan this morning. The opportunity is going out to you right now to be saved. Have you ever thought about trusting Jesus? You'd say, yes, preacher, said I thought, thought about it a lot of times, but I just don't know. Just don't know what to do. If you'll come forward this morning, if you'll walk this aisle, I'll meet you in this altar. And we'll get things fixed up between you and the Lord. If your heart is heavy and the Holy Spirit has been dealing with you, I'm going to ask you just to slip out right now. Say, preacher, I'm here and I've never been saved. But this morning, this morning, this morning, I want to come forward and I want to be saved. He's doing a work right here in this sanctuary this morning. He's touching you. And we can sit there. We can try to push him off to the side. But let me assure you, you do not want to do that. You want to in obedience. Just step out. And come down to this altar. He's working. He's working. Maybe you're here this morning and you know that you're saved but you've not lived the life that the Lord's pleased with. He continues to point that out. Right now is your opportunity to slip out. Come on. Come on right now. Right now. God knows. God knows. There's no hiding it from Him. While we tarry the Holy Spirit searching hearts in this sanctuary, would you come? Would you come? We're going to sing the first verse. And on this first verse, I'm going to ask you to please respond to God's Holy Spirit. What song are we singing, Brother Robert? 191. Come on right now. Come on.
Is there others right now that would come? something that you need to do for the Lord right now, would you come? Maybe it's to present yourself for membership of this church. If he's leading you in that direction, you come. These altars are still open and the Spirit is still moving. How about it right now? Right now, maybe you're just visiting with us this morning. But for some reason, the Spirit has decided to speak to your heart. You know that you need to come. Whether you be in the sanctuary or over here in the wing, I'm going to ask you to come. finish with this verse, I want us to automatically bow our heads as they continue to play the instruments. The Holy Spirit is touched.